Work and Skills. Sigdriva, do not tell about the fox at the small. Why not? Sigdriva, the killer. The only thing the settlers agree on is to kill the only little land animal that was here before we came. The fox has lived here for centuries, I suppose. I've secretly trained all the dogs not to attack them. Do not tell. <laughs> Edda Smá laughs. Edda Smá wants to see the ships in the caves. The ships on which Erkenvíkingar, those who live in Erkenvík, arrived to Iceland. Íslandikur replika sailed from Reykjavík to Vínland by Gunnar Marel Eggertsson. Erkenvíkingar have pulled their flat-keeled ship up the beach up into big caves close to the sea. The caves also serve as storage for utensils and even for food, so there is a lot to see here. The caves can be closed and Erkenvíkingar hide the entrances completely, just in case. In these days we never know where enemies might be showing up. The barons can sit in the old ship and plan the travels they are about to undertake. In here the barons find something they do not know the use of. So Hugmóður goes home to ask his father, Björn Jóserkur. Björn tells, This is a part of the compass, my son, like the Vikings used on their travels over the vast high seas, where no land can be seen for days on end. Vikings are great navigators and apt and skilled sailors. There is supposed to be a gnomon in the middle of the board, not so difficult to use if we know how to. To hold it level, we put it in a bucket of water, sea water of course, as not to waste the drinking water. And there is a sunstone thou wilt find there somewhere too, most likely in the same old chest where you found the compass. No stars can be seen here in the north during summer, light summer nights. The sunstone is to enable seafarers to locate the sun through the clouds. We do not always have sunshine on the Atlantic Ocean, who mother. Highest point of sun indicates true south at midday, so we find true north. <laughs>